Anthony Hewish born the 11th of May 1924, is a British radio astronomer who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1974, together with fellow radio astronomer Martin Ryle, for his role in the discovery of pulsars. He was also awarded the Eddington Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society in 1969. Topic: Early life and education. He attended King's College, Taunton. His undergraduate degree at Gonville and Keyes College, Cambridge, was interrupted by war service at the Royal Aircraft Establishment, and at the Telecommunications Research Establishment where he worked with Martin Ryle. Returning to Cambridge in 1946, Hewish completed his degree and immediately joined Ryle's research team at the Cavendish Laboratory, obtaining his Ph.D. in 1952. Hewish made both practical and theoretical advances in the observation and exploitation of the apparent scintillations of radio sources due to their radiation impinging upon plasma. This led him to propose, and secure funding for, the construction of the Interplanetary Scintillation Array, a large array radio telescope at the Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory MRAO, Cambridge to conduct a high-time resolution radio survey of interplanetary scintillation. Topic. Career and research Hewish was Professor of Radio Astronomy at the Cavendish Laboratory from 1971 to 1989, and Head of the MRAO from 1982 to 1988. He developed an association with the Royal Institution in London when it was directed by Sir Lawrence Bragg. In 1965 he was invited to co-deliver the Royal Institution Christmas Lecture on Exploration of the Universe. He subsequently gave several Friday evening discourses and was made a professor of the Royal Institution in 1977. Hewish is a fellow of Churchill College, Cambridge. He is also a member of the Advisory Council for the Campaign for Science and Engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honours Hewish has honorary degrees from six universities including Manchester, Exeter and Cambridge, is a foreign member of the Belgian Royal Academy and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and the Indian National Science Academy. Other awards and honours include Elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1968 Eddington Medal, Royal Astronomical Society 1969. Dellinger Gold Medal, International Union of Radio Science 1972. Albert A. Michelson Medal, Franklin Institute 1973, jointly with Jocelyn Bell Burnell Nobel Prize for Physics jointly 1974. Hughes Medal, Royal Society 1977. Elected a Fellow of the Institute of Physics TP in 1998 Nobel Prize One of his PhD students, Jocelyn Bell later known as Jocelyn Bell Burnell, noted the radio source which was ultimately recognized as the first pulsar. The paper announcing the discovery had five authors, Hewish's name being listed first, Bell's second. Hewish and Martin Ryle were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1974 for work on the development of radio aperture synthesis and its role in the discovery of pulsars. The Nobel award to Ryle and Hewish without the inclusion of Bell as a co-recipient was controversial, and was roundly condemned by Hewish's fellow astronomer Fred Hoyle. See Nobel Prize controversies. <laughs> Personal life Hewish married Marjorie Elizabeth Catherine Richards in 1950. They have a son, a physicist, and a daughter, a language teacher. Topic: <inaudible> Religious views. Hewish has argued that religion and science are complementary. In the foreword to Questions of Truth, Hewish writes: "The ghostly presence of virtual particles defies rational common sense and is non-intuitive for those unacquainted with physics." Religious belief in God, and Christian belief may seem strange to common sense thinking. But when the most elementary physical things behave in this way, we should be prepared to accept that the deepest aspects of our existence go beyond our common sense understanding. References, <references>